Welcome to Mini Orange. Today we are going to set up single sign on in WordPress with your IDP using Mini Orange SAML SSO plugin. Log into your WordPress admin account. Click on plugin on the menu bar on the left hand side. Now click on add new button. Search for SAML in the search bar. Now install the Mini Orange plugin for single sign on. And click on activate. We have successfully installed Mini Orange plugin, which is on the menu bar on the left hand side. Let's configure the Mini Orange plugin with your IDP. Go to your service provider setup tab in the Mini Orange plugin. You can select your identity provider from the icons here. If your identity provider is not present in these icons, you can select custom IDP. For example, if your IDP is Okta, click on Okta and click here to open the setup guide. You can follow this guide to configure the plugin with Okta. You can get the service provider details from here, which you need to configure in your identity provider. Go to Service Provider Metadata tab. There are three ways to provide data to your identity provider. First is the metadata URL. You can copy the metadata URL from here and paste it in your identity provider. Or, you can download the metadata XML file, and upload this XML file in your identity provider. Or, you can manually configure your identity provider, for which the details are given here. To configure your service provider, go to Service Provider Setup tab. There are three ways to configure your service provider. You can configure your service provider manually, you can get the IDP details from IDP Metadata tab, and you can paste the details in the text box. Or you can directly upload IDP Metadata URL, or XML file, for that, click on Upload IDP Metadata. You can choose the file and click on Upload, or, you can paste the URL and click on Fetch Metadata. Once you click on Upload or Fetch Metadata, your identity provider details will be saved successfully. Let's take an example to configure the plugin with Okta IDP. In your Okta admin dashboard, click on Add Applications. Then create new app. Select SAML 2.0 radio button. Click on Create. Name the application as Okta app and click on Next. The SP metadata can be found in the Mini Orange Plugin Service Provider Metadata tab. Copy the SES URL from the plugin and paste it in the single sign on URL in Okta. Copy the audience URL from the plugin and paste it in the audience URL in Okta. Select the name ID format and application username as per your choice. Click on Next. Now let's assign Okta application to users. Go to Assignments tab and click on Assign to People. Click on Assign to Assign User. Your Okna user has been assigned successfully. Go to Sign On tab. Let's configure the plugin using Okta Metadata URL. Click on Identity Provider Metadata. Copy the URL. Go to your Service Provider Setup tab in the Mini Orange plugin. To configure service provider, click on Upload IDP Metadata. Write Okta as your IDP name. Paste the metadata URL and click on Fetch Metadata. Your identity provider details are saved successfully. Click on Test Configuration. You have successfully configured Okta with your WordPress site. Now let's see how to add a Mini Orange login widget for single sign-on. On the menu bar on the left hand side, click on Appearance, then Widgets. Select Login with Okta. And click on Add Widget. In title put Login with Okta and click on Save. You have successfully added Mini Orange login widget for single sign-on. Now let's see how the single sign-on will work. Go to your WordPress site homepage and scroll down. You can see the widget we added for single sign-on. Click on Login with Okta. You will be redirected to Okta login page. Sign in with your Okta credentials. Congratulations! 
you have successfully logged into WordPress using Okta as IDP. Check out our premium version of the plugin which includes features like attribute mapping, role mapping and many more. And it also supports add-ons like SCIM user sync, page restriction, etc.